One of the busiest zones here at IFSEC 2016 is the home automation zone and our fantastic smart home. Um, there's lots and lots of visitors in here and I, I think it probably touches, um, I said it touches a nerve, but, but it strikes home as it were with a lot of people because we're all wandering around going, oh, I could really do with that in my, oh yeah, I can control my thermos, oh yeah, smartphone unlock front doors. It's all fantastic stuff, not only for us personally, but for, I guess, your customers as well. Um, speaking of doors, someone who's going to show us into and uh, show us through a door here is our good friend Tabitha who we've spoken to before. Tabitha, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Uh, talk to me about your journey here with the smart home. Okay, well it's really exciting this year because as you say it's always been highly commercial at IFSEC and this year we've got, we're able to show exactly where the market is moving um, and I think it's interesting for Yale because not only are we offering the consumer our own products but we're also connecting to lots of other people's products because your point is that people aren't just interested in security, they want to also control their thermostats, they want to have all sorts of other products in there. So we really are giving the consumers the option of going with Yale or with some of these other fantastic vendors like Control4, Samsung, etc. Well, and indeed both of those as well, you know, really linking everything together. Um, you've got a door here, first of all. I mean, let, let's take a look at some product. This is, on the one hand, it's a fairly traditional front door with a handle, but there's no space for a key there. There isn't any space of a key here. So the options you've got here is you can open it with a keypad, so you can have different digits for, to open that. But you're, most importantly, you can also open it via your smartphone. So you know you're, you're driving home, you're late, you're late from work. You've got friends on your doorstep. You don't have to worry about giving them a code. You just open your smartphone up and just click a button, and the door unlocks from anywhere in the world. That's very, very useful. I can think of so many use cases for that. Um, I guess if my smartphone were to run out of battery, then this keypad here is also incredibly important. Um, should we go through? Let's do it. it. Magically opened. I love that. Okay, wow. And here we are in the smart home. Um, so, what's next? Okay, so we've, as we described before, we have different ways of connecting our locks. Um, so Yale is well known for security, and we've always been in alarms and CCTV. So. What we're exhibiting here is the fact that the consumer or the installers can choose to have the Yale ecosystem. So our alarm CCTVs and locks, they all work together. They're all app driven, so you can see your cameras again from anywhere in the world. So if there's an alert at home, you don't have to worry about calling the police straight away. You just look onto your app, look at your camera, and it's, it was the cat, <laughs> or you know your son's come home early or something like that. Um, so that's what we're showing here. Um, but most also, you know, most importantly, we're also showing that we're connected to other people's equipment as well because yeah. some people want more as I said than, than just a security ecosystem. Who are the people who are buying into these uh, connected home visions? Is it people uh, who are I guess younger more tech savvy or is it kind of across the board would you say? It's definitely across the board and what's really important is we get the use cases right um, because it's the early adopters go for it because it's technology um, and that's great but the use cases around busy families for example you know you've got these eclectic families with uh, grandparents and carers coming in and out young children and they're not necessarily doing it because it's technology they're doing it because it makes their life better and also um, the sort of el the older generations are very tech savvy you know most of them have iPads or, or tablets uh, they've got disposable income and they've got lots of assets they want to protect as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum always gets a mention on these things. She's got an iPad and uh, it's, uh, it's her window onto the outside world in many, many ways. And like you say, and, and I think this is a real challenge maybe for the industry and a, a challenge for you guys as well, is not to sell it as a technology solution, but to sell it as uh, an enabler for a smarter way of living. Yeah. Definitely. It's just, if you get the use cases right, then people just buy into it. Almost, it's not despite the price, but if, if it makes a difference to your life and unlocks something and makes, you know, gives you more time to do the things you love, then, then you're happy for it. Should we carry on having a wander through your home? Um, you've got another door over there, which is uh, a, a differently connected one, isn't it? Yes, this door. Um, so as you move through into this part of the house, this is really exhibiting the Control 4 system. Now, Control 4 are into audiovisual, they can control blinds, they control all sorts of elements. So a different consumer would have gone for this system because they wanted to add more than just security. But we haven't um, sort of isolated them. We still could have a, a Yale door lock connected in all the same ways that we talked before with a pin code or, an, or a smartphone but instead of using a Yale app you'd use a Control 4 app to, to be able to open close and set up all the rules that you need. Um, so. so really the, the glue sticking together connecting all of these uh, different, different technologies whether it's some Yale stuff or like you say some of the other um, things that we might like to have in our home as well. This is the door down here it's another keyless, a keyless connected door 
open via a pin or a smartphone. Let's go through the door. Follow me. And Tabitha. Here we go. Oh, they, actually, this is a very different door. Come through here. There, yep. Mind your, mind your light on top of your camera. Let's close this one. It's important um, that because the, in the UK the door the, the the residential door market is quite diverse. So on, in the in the commercial sector, it's sort of all settled into one style of door and one style of lock. So for, at Yale, we have to offer a couple of different options. But the the, the the functions for the consumer is exactly the same. You've just got a you've got a keypad that you light up and put your code in. Um, and again, you can open it with a smartphone. So nothing changes. It's just a different form factor to go with the doors that are in the market. And does this also work with an access card as well? It does as well, yes. Fantastic. Tabitha, thank you very much for showing us uh, around your home. You've got a few people in there, a few too many people in there. I think you might need to get the connected vacuum cleaner out later on. <laughs> Tabitha, thank you very much. Thank you very much.